good morning everyone this is rishali in our last sessions we discussed about keys of in database management system then we also discussed about structure architecture components then er model relational model in dbms i have mentioned database management system playlist link in below description box now in this session we will discuss about ddl commands with some practical demonstrations so let's see the first point is what exactly sql commands sql stands for structured query language we use sql commands for performing communication between different tables or different database by using sql commands we perform different operations like we need to create the table then uh, add different values or different rows in table or suppose if you want to delete the table or delete the particular row in the table so for all this purpose we will use sql commands basically there are total four sql commands like ddl dml dcl and tcl the first one is data definition language ddl command which include create alter drop and truncate command second one is data manipulation language that is dml commands which include select insert update and delete the next one is dcl that is data control language which include grant and revoke command and next one is tcl that is transaction control language which include commit roll back and save print so this all types of commands are called as sql commands in this session we will discuss about ddl commands only next the next point is what exactly ddl command basically ddl stands for data definition language and ddl commands are directly applied on the structure of the table if you want to create the table if you want to delete a particular row in the table or particular column in table and if you want to modify the table so for all this purpose ddl commands have used basically it works on the structure of the table next point is ddl commands are auto committed auto committed means it permanently save all the changes in database that's why these all commands are auto committed because it works on it works on the structure of the table right so ddl commands mainly four create alter drop and truncate so alter commands have you also used with modify and rename command so there are total four ddl commands next the first command is create command create command generally used to create a new structure of the table in your database that's why we use create command and by using create command we gives the information like your table name your column names or the data types means which types of data have stored in your table so this all types of information have created by using create command so just see here this is a syntax of create command create table table name means if you want to create a one table and mention their column and their data type column name and data type right so this is a syntax now just see here so i'm using here mysql workbench for execution purpose okay so just see here suppose if you want to create the table student okay so how to create create this is our command create table student okay create table table name now we need to add columns okay so the first column is id which stored integer types of data and their size is 2 okay now next student name student name always in varchar that is in string format right and their size is supposed to 20 now the next one is branch student branch and branch is also in string format branch name so mention varchar and their size is 20 okay so in this way you need to create the table so how to execute this query just select all this query and press control enter so see here in output format this action have performed that is create table have created so how to see the table so for that purpose we need to use select command select select star from student okay so basically select command is a dml command okay so star means all the rows from the table okay if you want to display your table at that time select commands have used from Yeah, table name so just select this command and press control enter see here your table structure have created like id name and branch 
right id name and branch so this structure i have created by the using create table this is your first task next now the next command is alter command so alter command generally used to alter the structure of the table so if you want to add the particular column in table or if you want to drop the particular column in table so at that time alter command have used so uh, let's see the first task of alter command the first task of alter command is if you want to add the new column in table so at that time alter command have used this is a syntax alter table table name add column name and their data type so let's see here now in our student table we need to add cgpa column in this table okay so how to add see here alter table table name that is student okay and we need to add the column add column our uh, column name is cgpa and cgpa is integer type of data right cgpa is integer and their size is 2 and mention semicolon okay so just select this query and press control enter so see here in output alter table this command have executed now if you want to display the table again execute this query select star from student see here cgpa column have added right so in this way alter command have used for adding new column in table now the second task of alter command is to delete the column in particular uh, table okay if you want to delete the particular column so how to delete see here alter table table name drop column column name so this is a syntax so drop command is used to delete column in particular table so let's see here suppose we want to delete a cgpa column in our table okay so how to delete it see here alter table table name student and if you want to delete cgpa column so drop or uh, drop our column and column name cgpa and mention semicolon right so just select this query and control enter now see here in output this command have executed right now just look at here in this table again select star from student execute this command okay control enter see here id name and branch cgpa column have deleted so in this way you used alter command for column deletion purpose next the next task of alter command is if you want to rename a particular column in your table okay so the syntax is alter table table name rename column old column name to new column name okay so just apply here now our task is if you want to rename the column branch okay if you want to change column name branch to department okay so how to do this see here alter table table name so the command is rename rename okay rename column our old column name is branch to new column name is department and semicolon right so just execute this query select all control enter see here your query have executed now again see in your table how to look at the table select star from student enter see here id name and department your column have rename so again this is another use of alter command and last task is if you want to modify the size of particular column suppose initially we say id is integer type later you have to decide that id is also a string format like s101 is a student id like this so you need to change uh, size of that particular uh, column okay or data type of that particular column so at that time modify command have used how to use see this is a syntax alter table table name modify column name data type and size so see here now in id we need to store integer type of data see here id integer 2 right now we need to add character types of data only okay so how to change this thing see here alter table table name 
now modify this command is used modify so we need to change our column name like modify column name data type size so our column name is id and our data type varchar means first we declare integer after that we declare varchar and their size is 20 suppose so see here just execute this line select all control enter see here your database have modified means at that time you add string type of ids also in your table right so these are the work of alter command next the next command is truncate command so truncate command generally used to delete all the rows from the table but the structure of the particular table kept as it is so this is a work of truncate command so let's see here uh, first the syntax the syntax of truncate command is truncate table table name this is a simple syntax but for removing all the rows from table first you need to add the rows in your table right initially we didn't add any row in our table because this is a ddl command but now we use insert command for adding the new row in your table okay but insert is a dml command i will explain this command later in detail so just see here insert into values insert into student insert into table name okay then values this keyword is used and okay wait a minute values this keyword have used and you need to mention the uh, particular values see here our first column is id so mention the id of the student the second column is name student name student name is a string format that's why mention into the double inverted comma the student name is suppose neha and student branch student branch also in varchar or string format that's why mention into the double inverted comma in this way we will add row in our table so just select this uh, particular query and control enter execute that particular query see here insert command have executed that's why mentioned here in output format now just execute this query select star from student means you need to display your table control enter see here 101 neha and csc okay in this way we will add the row in our table this is a dml command okay because uh, we need to apply truncate command here now see now we need to remove row from our table and structure as it is means their id name department this structure kept as it is so for that purpose truncate command is used truncate table table name student right now just select the particular query control enter for execution purpose see here this table uh, this query have executed now just look at here in the table select star from student execute this query see here the row ha have deleted but their structure kept as it is right so this is the work of truncate command now the next one is drop command so drop command is used to generally used to delete both the structure and record from the table in truncate command we just delete the row but in drop command we delete the row as well as structure of the table okay so the syntax is drop table table name see here uh, drop Okay, wait a minute. Okay, drop table and table name. Table name is student. So just execute this query, control enter. So this query have executed here. Now select star from student. So see here, after executing this query, this uh, error have declared because your table is already deleted. When you use drop command, your table is deleted from the database, right? So this is the work of drop command. It delete rows as well as structure of the table. So in this way, DDL command have worked. Thank you. Keep practicing.